In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to access the D, your, your DVR from a computer on the same network as the DVR. Uh, perhaps you have a router that your DVR is connected to along with several other computers. Uh, that will be considered a network. The first thing you need to do is obtain the private IP address of your DVR server. So you would actually go to the DVR server, go to start in the lower left, run, and then type CMD, and then enter. And then the screen that comes up, you type IP config. IPCONFIG. Click enter. And in the results that come up, you'll see something that says IP address, and that is the private IP address of the DVR server. Uh, you probably should write that down because you're going to need to use that, that IP address to access the DVR from one of the the other computers on your network so go ahead and uh, write that down keep it handy and you can now go to another computer on your network keep in mind that you obviously you have to have the DVR software running on the DVR itself uh, because it, it has to be running for you to uh, have the capability of accessing it from a remote location so make sure that it's also running all right, at this point, you would go to one of the other computers on your network, the computer you want to access the DVR from. You would then launch Internet Explorer. And before you'll be able to access the DVR from this other computer on your network, you have to enable all of your ActiveX control. So you're going to go to, to the tools menu here then internet options click the security tab and then custom level and if you scroll down you'll see a heading called ActiveX controls and plugins you want to, you want to make sure that every one of these ActiveX controls underneath this heading are enabled not all of them are enabled by default uh, you just want to make sure you go down the whole list, make sure all of them are enabled. Usually when you hit the next heading, uh, usually the next heading you hit is download. So when when you get to that point, you know that you've reached the end of of all the ActiveX controls. But you do you do need to make sure that all of these are enabled. Then you click OK. You'll get a warning asking, are you sure you want to change the security settings for this zone? Click Yes. Then click OK again and now you've made your changes so at this point it's probably best to close out of Internet Explorer and relaunch it so I'm gonna close it I'm gonna relaunch it and I've bookmarked the the IP address so I'm gonna go ahead and go to that private IP address of our DVR server and I'll get a login screen uh, you just enter the username and password that reflects the the user that you created uh, in the DVR software in the users tab so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that information mine are blank click next and that's it that brings up the screen where you can access the live video and now you're logged into the DVR We'll explain uh, how to make some adjustments to this screen and how to play back recorded video in a different tutorial.